Hi there and welcome to this small video tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this uh, small customization process. We are here with the Apple Motion 5 project throwing photos and we are going to add in this uh, small video tutorial some uh, text captions to the uh, the photo placeholders or the photo groups. Uh, so let's start with uh, number one. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the group which contains photo number one. Uh, I'm going to click to isolate that group so we can work in a 2D uh, planner view. And I'm going to open the group, can select the picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. So to do so, just select the text tool and let's say my text caption one and I will want to go to the inspector and I'm gonna select to center and make it a little bit bigger and probably I would want to bring it down and maybe to add a small outline in this case um, to make it look a little better so now if I deselect the the isolate button and everything will be fine except one thing if we go back as you can see now I don't have the text anymore and this is uh, I, I did this on purpose so that um, you can see where the problem is if we open the the, the group photo one you will see that my text caption only start over here and I needed to start right in the beginning of uh, my animation so now I'm going to deselect. If we scroll it back, you will see that the text will be uh, since the beginning. Okay, so this process can be um, for any of the pictures. We're going to do one more and we're going to use a, a different, uh, different kind of style so well the same style but with uh, an add-on so let's select this photo here number four same process um, isolate it and select the picture now text tool and let's say me and and my dad okay so let's go to center and maybe this size and let's choose I'm gonna choose black okay and I'm gonna put it a little bit down okay so let's just um, let's just know we will carry on and then we'll do one more just to show you a different step um, okay so we have our text and now what I want to add is a, a small border like we have in some uh, Polaroid style photos uh, and to do so all I, what I'm gonna do is select the photo and then I'm gonna select the um, the shape uh, in this case rectangle tool and I'm gonna make a rectangle over here okay as you can see the color is not the same so what I'm gonna do is select my color picker and select this color so it's exactly the same now I have my text underneath so while I have my rectangle selected I'm going to object which I have in another screen but the object you will have bring uh, backward oops sorry I clicked bring forward bring backward uh, and this will bring the rectangle 
uh, to the back or you can select the text and make it bring it forward um, so in this case uh, we will have different uh, a different style of um, of picture it's just an option I remember it um, that it might be useful so here it is also and once you stop isolating and go back to your uh, composition you will have now this uh, different look on your picture okay so we have the same problem uh, over here and what I was saying I was uh, I only remember this afterwards but um, to correct it open your photo 4 and drag select the rectangle and the text layer and drag it to the beginning so you will have this all correct and let's just lastly see one way of doing this without um, having to go uh, to drag our layers so let's choose photo 5 which is the next one photo number 5 and we're gonna do the same isolate and once I has isolated the photography I can go to the beginning of the photo right over here and then if you do this for all the, the placeholders you will not uh, uh, lose um, the time uh, well it's not that big of a time but um, probably it's going, going to be quicker so once you have your uh, time timeline needle on the beginning of the picture in this case picture 5 just select the text tool and my new text I'm gonna do the same center it and I'm gonna increase and let's just put a black outline okay and I'm gonna bring it little bit to the okay, somewhere around here we could use the, the same rectangle um, to make the Polaroid style photo but just to, to show you that once uh, we select to don't isolate we will see that the text comes uh, right from the beginning uh, sorry not this one it's the next one uh, there we go we have that text uh, coming right from the beginning just because when we isolate it uh, we put the timeline on the beginning and once we add the text the text will be uh, starting from uh, the beginning and that's it that's all it is to add uh, text captions to this uh, project very easy very fast and straightforward to do it okay so we are ready with eight minutes um, thanks for watching I hope I could help um, if you have any further questions or any doubts please don't hesitate drop me a line and I will do the best I can to help you solve the problems so once again thanks for watching my name is Roberto George bye bye